for the sign of Aquarius, hello and welcome to my channel. Just remember the top cards that you see, they're paired with the bottom cards and the decks that I use for this reading. I will have them listed in the description box below. I've already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and your person. We'll find out what's coming up. We'll see what the challenge is going to be and then we'll find out what the outcome is. So Aquarius, we got the Nine of Cups, and it's with the Tower card for the recent past energy between you and your person. Now the Nine of Cups is actually one of the most uplifting, pleasant cards to receive in a reading. It's very often known as the Wish card. It can mean that what you're hoping for, what you're dreaming about, is most likely to be yours in a brief period of time. Now the appearance of this card is usually about happiness, good things to come. It also usually can mean that what you want is likely to come into being in your life. And if you're asking a yes or no type of question, well, this Knight of Cups, it's actually the most powerful indicator of yes. Now, it's with the Tower card. The Tower card can be about trying to hold too tightly to the status quo, which can be a disaster. You have to roll with the changes. It could be that some people, maybe some situations that you've counted on as being there for you may no longer be there in quite the same way. Now, just know that this doesn't have to be drastic because we all know that change, it's the nature of life. And if we try to prevent it, it's going to be like trying to row upstream without a paddle. Also, if you've been building some castles in the air, this might be the time that some of them come crashing down. And that's only a problem if you let it be. And I say this because you'll be able to replace them with some more realistic, reachable goals and dreams if some fantasies fall apart. Just know that dreaming is important, but it's, it's also important to be living in a reality. So basically, Aquarius, the recent past energy between you and your person, nine of clubs clarified by this tower card. So what I'm picking up is for a lot of you, Aquarius, you're with someone who you thought was a, would be a wish come true for you. Yeah, you felt at some point very, very blessed and satisfied to be with this person, to have this person in your life. You have very strong, strong desire for this person. But it looks like it's showing with the recent past energy. For a lot of you, it, it fell apart. Yeah. The connection came crashing down. Now, the good thing about the tower is that you're usually enlightened by the disaster. You're awakened. You're no longer seeing things through rose-tinted glasses. Your eyes are wide open now. You see the full picture. So that's recent past energy between you and your person. Now we move on over and we take a look and see what's coming up. So we got the Five of Wands and it's with the Six of Wands. Now the Five of Wands, it can refer to competition. Competition um, could be work career, but since this is a love reading, it could be about romantic rivals. So don't be afraid of competing. Know that you have something to offer and you can be successful. But the thing is, with the Five of Wands, you're going to have to try just to see results. Yeah, the need to believe in yourself. It's going to have to be stronger than ever. So you got to hold your head up high. Have faith that you'll end up in a place that's right for you. 
With the five of wands, you could also be thinking of making a career change. But you have to know that you can be successful at that too. So, it's with the six of wands. Now, the six of wands, it signals victory. If you're anxious about a court proceeding where you want to win your lover's heart, just know that you will be victorious. This can indicate some kind of celebrations. You might be a part of a graduation party or a commencement celebration. Or you could be receiving some type of reward for good work that you've done. Six of Wands makes you feel really, really good about yourself. Makes you feel as if you got a lot of support from everyone around you. On the other hand, you could adore someone else by where adoring them makes you feel amazing. So the so coming up, uh, Aquarius, five of wands clarified by the six of wands. So it looks like the problem with the connection could have been because your person, they um, bring romantic rivals into the mix. Other men, it could be other men, could be other women. And for some of you, it's maybe f unwanted friends, unwanted family members. For f but for the most part, it's romantic rivals, other men, other women. And it makes you feel like you have to struggle for dominance just to stay on top of the connection. Yeah, and the thing is that this person, they probably enjoy it. They like to get your panties in a bunch if you know what I mean they like to see you um, they like to see you disturbed by this because that's what this the card is showing if you I don't know if you can see the details but the five of wands is the card that's above the word present you've got these four men about to beat each other up with their sticks or their wands and then you got your person off to the left, standing alone, just watching. And you can't see the look on his face, but he's grinning. He's got this really big, silly grin. So, yeah, the, what makes it bad about romantic rivals is when your person, they enjoy having you feel uncomfortable about it. That's what makes it really bad. Or that's what adds to to the negativity of it. So yeah, it boosts their, it boosts your person's ego when they get, get you all worked up. Um, yeah, but this person, you could be feeling that they're, you could have felt like they were your soulmate or some of you felt like this person was your twin flame. Or a strong soulmate because it's with this five of Six of Wands, the card below the word presence, present. Um, six of Wands, it's, it's a interesting energy. It's the type of energy where you might be the type that suggests that you may need someone to boost your ego while your person is perfectly fine doing the boosting and admiring. This is called fire balance. The two of you feed off of each other energetically with this type of energy. You get a lot of sexual, you get a lot of sexual chemistry. And there's passion and long nights spent in bed. So, yeah, you felt like this person, you had a strong connection, really strong connection to this person. Give me one minute. Yeah, yeah, you, like I said, you thought this person was your... A strong soulmate for you. The two of you had great chemistry. Yeah, just to look at the picture of the Six of Wands, this lady, she's on a podium. She's waving her wand in the air from side to side. She's got all these people below her mimicking her. They're doing exactly like she is. They're mirroring her, and even your person had this kind of chemistry going on. So, yeah, you thought this person was a wish come true. But it looks like it it fell apart or it could be in the process of crashing down. 
coming down. You're enlightened by it, though. You find out some things that you probably didn't realize. Um, you don't like that this person, or you didn't like that this person enjoyed watching you struggle for dominance um, because of the fact that they invited others into the mix. Romantic rivals, competition. So, that's coming up for the present. Now, let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is. We got the Seven of Pentacles, and it's with the Five of Cups. Now, the Seven of Pentacles, it can be about returns on investments. It can be literal, maybe a bank account returning money to you. It could be figuratively, such as investments of time and effort and energy that you put into a relationship. It's about reaping what you have sown. Seven of Pentacles is actually positive. You should be feeling more secure than you have in a while. Things will be moving along. And you could start to feel hopeful about the future with a good cause. But you might have to decide where to put your energy. Into things, people, situations that you're already involved with. Or whether to spend your energy trying to bring more into your life. Now, it's with the Five of Cups which is a card that reminds us that where we put our focus has a great deal to do with the quality of our lives and how well they work for us. So you could find yourself asking, what are you going to choose to focus on? The implication is probably clear. For example, are you going to focus on the positive or negative? you got to watch where you put your focus. Make sure the focus is for your highest good. So the challenge, Aquarius, Seven of Pentacles with the Five of Cups, So, for some of you, your person is um, going to try to convince you that they really want this connection with you to work. Yeah, they might start putting in more effort and energy into the relationship, into the connection, and doing a lot more. But you're disappointed. Yeah, you're, you're disappointed. But you personally, it looks like they're going to try to show you that they really want it to work. So you're trying to figure out maybe how to focus your energy on the positive, on the good things. But still, that disappointment, it comes and slaps you right in the face. So you could be struggling, coming up, trying to forget about the bad and Focus on the positive, but disappointment, it keeps, it keeps running up in your face. So, that's the challenge. Now, let's see what the outcome is. We've got the Two of Swords and the Five of Swords. Now, this Two of Swords, it tells us that your partnerships, they could be going somewhat well, whether it's friendship, romantic, business. But you might need to consider the depths of your commitment to equality in the relationship and whether or not you're being treated as an equal by your person. And if you're not, it could be time to bring things back into balance. But this does require a lot of communication. Now, it's with the Five of Swords. Now, the Five of Swords, you could find yourself having some mixed feelings. Could be about life, could be about your person, or maybe a few pe pe people maybe a few people in particular. Now, don't ignore these feelings, but make sure you don't feel like you have to speak every word you're thinking and feeling either because it could ruin the things that you want the most, such as close, intimate relationships with your friends, with your lover. So you have to think several times before you really let someone have it, even if you know they deserve it. It's going to be a time when you're going to have to pick your battles. So, coming up for the outcome, two of swords clarified by this five of swords. So, like I said, you're kind of stuck on disappointment. Even, you may not be believing that your person really wants it to work. Because you're really stuck on the things that went wrong. 
and how you wanted this or you thought it was going to be a, this would be a wish come true for you but it looks like all it did was uh, it caused you to struggle in the connection um, there was a lot of chemistry though in a lot of ways a whole lot of ways with the six of wands yeah there's nothing like great chemistry and you had that with this person like I said it, it looks like it's it come crashing down or it did already and but the outcome is showing that you could decide to block and avoid this person because you're still mad you're mad at the things that they put you through and you're mad that, and the fact that they enjoyed it yeah if you could just see the look on this man's face of the five of wands he's so happy that somebody's fighting over him it strokes his ego yeah so you're mad that they're that type of person that would enjoy having you go through some some mess so yeah the five of swords the card below the word outcome it's interesting this man he has two swords in his hand and he has three at us on the ground there. It looks like he just ran into the into the room. There were people at this little campfire here. And they saw him and they scrammed. They ran out of the way. They got up off the ground and they flew off to another city. They ran so fast. You don't even see them in the picture anywhere. And then these, these dogs or wolves, they just got a a good look at this person and they're about to run too so yeah coming up Aquarius you could just start to feel it's good. the disappointment is probably gonna hit you really hard it's gonna hit you really hard for some of you and you're gonna be upset you're not happy yeah, and you, a lot of you, you don't believe that this person really wants it to work. So, you might scare a lot of people off coming up. You ha might have that energy of, of anger. Yeah, just not a happy indicator here, this Five of Swords. And so you, ultimately, it looks like, well, coming up, you're going to block and avoid them. That's what the Two of Swords can be about. So Aquarius, that is the reading that I have for you. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonated. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below of the, well, there's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Aquarius, I thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there, it's gonna pass, and we'll all get through this, so stay strong, take good care of yourselves, come back and check out my next reading for Aquarius, which will be in about another four or five days, just in case this did not resonate. Maybe the next reading will. Also, keep in mind, if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, your person in this reading could actually be a friend, could be a family member, or it could be a situation. And the roles can be switched. You could be them, or they could be you. So take the reading for however it resonates. So Aquarius, I can never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading. And take care. And take care. And take care. And take care.